word of God, I declare that my heart is a prepared ground to receive the living seed of the word of God. I am focused and do not permit any form of distraction or distortion. As the word comes forth, every need in my life is met. I receive revelation knowledge. I receive light for every dark area of my life. I received impartation of the spirit and grace of the world to be a doer. I pull down and destroy every stronghold and high thing in my mind that will challenge or oppose the truth of the word of God I hear. I receive and believe the word I hear today as the truth of God. This word bears fruit in my life a hundredfold as God confirms the world with miracles, wonders and signs in my life amen now just ask the lord to visit you with his word today mary encountered that word and she became blessed in every generation christmas is not just about eating and drinking and making merry and visiting friends it's also about anger Encountering, having an encounter with his word. The Virgin Mary had an encounter with the world and brought forth that holy thing. Lord, let me have an encounter with your word today as it comes forth in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Send your word once again to us let it accomplish that which you desire let it transform us let it transfigure us and let it change our levels we give you praise spirit of the living god as i minister the living world the everlasting gospel please overshadow us confirm this world with signs following give everyone according to their need and desire confirm this word spoken with signs following that the lord jesus and him alone will be glorified and as i minister god's word this morning let only the lord jesus be heard let only him be seen and let only him be glorified in his mighty and much less name i have prayed and all of us have received amen this morning I'm preaching on um, the wonders of the name Jesus. The wonders of the name Jesus. Uh, we remember that it's, it was an angel that gave that name. It was not what Joseph or Mary just thought of, a name they just thought of. It was a name God carefully chose. Jesus simply means Jehovah saves. That's what it means. Jehovah saves. And so the essence of the name tells us what he came to do. That he is the savior that God gave to man. Acts of the Apostles chapter 4 verse 12. Acts of the Apostles chapter 4 verse 12. It says, neither is there salvation in any other so there is no where and there is no other place or in any other name that there is salvation not just to be saved um, so that you're born again but to be saved from any embarrassing situation from any danger there is neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved even if you don't know what to pray just call that name jesus call it in faith not jesus that place for arsenal football club i'm talking of jesus the christ the one who died for the sins of the whole earth some people you meet them you say i don't know what to pray just call the name when you call jesus what you're saying jehovah save save me the Hebrew uh, of that name means Yeshua. 
So you call him, he saves you. That's why the Bible also tells us that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it. They are saved. How do we run into it? When we call out to that name in faith. Uh, Pastor, I called in faith. It didn't work. It's because you don't have the faith. When you have faith and call that name, it works. Because everything that exists, everyone that exists, answers to that name. Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 and verse 10. Watch what the Bible says there. Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 and verse 10. Wherefore God also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is what? Above every other name. He's not just talking above in terms of height, but mightier, more glorious, more powerful than any other name. You see, one of the things in life is that when a baby is born in our side, in this part of the world, after eight days, we give the baby a name. Am I right? When you get a pet or a dog, the one of the first things you do to them is that you do what? A name. Also, when they discover maybe a disease or a drug, the first thing they do is that they give it what? A name. They always find a name to, for something or for someone. He says, God has highly exalted the Lord Jesus Christ and he gave him a name that is above, mightier than any name. Not just the name of people, diseases, situations. The name of Jesus is mightier and swallows every other name. He said, he has given a name which is above every, na any, every name, verse 10 that at the name of jesus so when everything that exists you know there are many things that exist that we don't see i hope you know that but they are real they exist but we don't see them but he says at the name of jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven of things or not if you read the if you if you if we if you get the king james bible and you read it the physical copy you find out of things they are in italics so because they are added the original reading should be like this that at the name of jesus every knee should bow in heaven on earth and under the earth because when you say things a human being from what we are taught in school is not a thing am i right so the original reading from the greek is at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven, in earth, and under the earth. So I call that name in faith. I will faith. Ah, something must happen. The jurisdiction is not just on earth. It's in heaven. That's the, it's because of that name, my prayers are heard in heaven. The jurisdiction is not just in heaven and earth only, under the earth, in the waters. It is because of that name that when we stand on earth and pray, it affects even the powers of the water. Does it make sense what we are saying? And then look at verse 11 as we close. It says, and that every tongue should confess, every tongue, anything or any person who speaks must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. That, it doesn't mean that everything will be born again, but they will know that there is a power that is bigger than their power. They, should, they will acknowledge it. And that is what gives God joy. So we must know how to use that name. Because it gives God joy when that name is conquering everything. It doesn't give him joy that we have that name and we are being conquered. Does it make sense? Amen. Is, am I in the right place this morning? Now, watch where we read in the Bible, Isaiah chapter 9. Let me show us the, you know, every, every soup has ingredients. Am I right? Huh? I want, I want to show us the ingredients of that name of Jesus. The ingredients that's there. Now, 
Before I do that, I want to show us the name of Jesus was told to Joseph and then to the mother Mary. Let's start with Joseph, then we go to the ingredients of that name. All right? Matthew chapter 1, please. Are you getting something from this? From today, when you say in the name of Jesus, you will see something will happen. Something happened when I called your name, Jesus. Can we sing that a bit? Why, please, can you? Supernatural about your name, Jesus. Something happens when I mention your name. Now, watch something. When we mention that name in faith, something happens. You may not see it, you may not know. But something happens. The mistake many of us make is that we are looking at the outward for the manifestation. But there is no way you call that name that things don't happen. You are just on earth. The origin of what may be happening to you, you may be opposing, may not be on earth. It may have its root in the invisible. It happens there when you call that name. It happens there when you call that name. It may be in your body, you may not see it. It happens there. God told me something why I sh we should always praise him. He said, nobody knows when a cancerous cell starts developing and you need to abort it and kill it in its infancy. You don't need to know. Just mention that name. That name is the rod of Moses that swallowed the rods of the magicians. So you mention it in faith something happened something supernatural something powerful can we call that name jesus? jesus call it in faith one more time jesus, jesus. one more time call it in faith jesus, jesus. something happened when i met yes your yeah. name Something special, Something special supernatural about your name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Something happens when. Please bow down your head for a few minutes. You're sick in your body. Whatever that is the problem, just put your hand right there right now. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. Jesus the same yesterday, today and forever. In that name of Jesus, let there be healing now. Let there be miracles now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Every symptom goes right now. Every root of sickness, of disease, of weakness, of paralysis, of confusion, it goes right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Give Jesus a big clap offering somebody. Amen. Please be seated. Amen. Matthew chapter 1. I'll read from verse 20 to verse 21. Let's see the name, how God gave him that name, Jesus. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to Take to you, Mary, your wife. For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. And she will bring forth a son. 
and you shall call his name Jesus. For he will save his people from their sins. Because the wages of sin is death. So saving us from our sins means saving us from death. Destruction. The ultimate death is separation from God. That's the number one thing he saved us from. Death is separation from God. He will save his people from their sins. So we see here also that anybody that Jesus in his life, he has been saved from sin. They can't go back to it because sin is destruction. Somebody getting what we are saying? So we see here the angel announcing to Joseph that go and take Mary. She's pregnant. She's a virgin. But that holy thing is from God. You will call his name Jesus and he shall save his people from their sins. And the wages of sin is what? Death. And the ultimate death is separation from God. There are people that are alive but they are dead in the spirit because they are separated from God. Anyone who is separated from God, whether they are the richest man, the most handsome, the most intelligent, they are dead. Because in God is life. With him is the fountain of life. Psalm 36 verse 9. And in his light, we see light. So the person is not just dead, they are blind. I used to be there, but God saved me more than 20 years ago. Now, look, let's look at the second one, Luke chapter 1, where God spoke to Joseph. Because I've taught us the principle, not one person hears from God. It's an error. God speaks to one person, the other person cooperating, he will also speak to them. So he spoke to Joseph, now he's going to speak to Mary. So he spoke to Joseph in a dream. Now he's going to see where he spoke to Mary, Luke chapter 1. Somebody's getting something today. Amen. 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 We read this yesterday and we'll read it again. Amen. Amen. Luke chapter 1. Let's start from verse 26. See, the same, uh, the same God that sent an angel to Joseph now sent an uh, angel to who? Me, to Mary. Give the same name. God is not the author of confusion. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth. Please fly over this. Please fly, fly. Let's go. Time. To a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph and of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have, been, you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. The same God to different people at different times the same message the same God that sent an angel to Joseph also sent an angel to Mary not one person hears from God alone in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word of God is what established and uh, for our sister somebody came over I heard from God that you are, uh, you are my wife or you are my husband ah, if God spoke to you allow God to speak to them now somebody got you something Amen. Everybody is quiet. Am I in the right place this morning? Yes, so, do you see how he got this name? He, the same God through his angel told to Joseph. The same God through his angel told to Mary, the mother. Joseph, the stepdad. Alright? So, what are the ingredients of that name Jesus? Remember I said the name Jesus means what? Jehovah saves. The number one thing Jehovah saves us from is what? Sin. The wages of sin is death. So he's saved us from death. So if he saves you from death, don't be a pig. Don't go back. Keep going back to the sin. That's casting that which is holy to dogs and giving pearls to swines, to pigs. A pig will always get dirty. Even if you were a pig before, when God saves you, he gives you a new nature. Don't keep going back from what he saved you from. Somebody's been delivered this morning. In Jesus' mighty name. Now, what are the ingredients of that name? 
quickly will see that so that when you call that name Jesus, you know what it means. And let me teach you, let me reemphasize what I've taught you before. You don't know any other thing to do. Call that name what? Jesus. Call that name in faith and watch things happen. Because every time they hear that name in faith, in the realm of the spirit, something, they, they stand to attention. In faith, not just calling it. That's why you don't take the name of the Lord in faith. You're just laughing and playing, oh, Jesus, so that's taking the name of the Lord in vain. Does it make sense? Because the name is powerful. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. How do we run into it? When I call that name. Amen. Now, these are the five ingredients of that name. We see that in Isaiah chapter 9 from verse 6 to verse 7 where we did in our Bible reading. The wonders of the name Jesus. These are the ingredients of the name. What makes the name powerful? Isaiah chapter 9 from verse 6 to verse 7. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. This was Isaiah the prophet prophesied about the Lord Jesus hundreds of years before he was born. And he said, and the government, the rulership will be where? On the shoulder of this child who has been born. And on the son who has been given. The same person, Jesus. Now, he tells us the name. And his name, please go to King James. I, King James, not the new King James. And his name shall be called, number one, wonderful. Not wonderful counselor. No. Number one. His name is what? Wonderful. His name, wonderful means full of wonders. From his conception to his birth, all his life, to his death, to his burial, to his ascension, even his earthly ministry, full of wonders. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 18. Isaiah prophesied there again. I am the children whom the Lord God has given to me. We are for what? Signs and wonders. Not in heaven. On earth here. Your life, if you belong to Jesus, should be full of wonders. Not just one wonder every year. Every day wonder. When people look at you, they can't explain certain things. His name, the first thing that defined it, the first ingredient of his name is wonderful. Wonderful means amazing. That can be explained. If your life is always explained, you're following a sequence, you have to check which Jesus you are from. People can predict you. People can cage you, can measure you. No, you can't. Say, he that is born of the spirit is like a wind. No man knows where he's coming from or where he's going to. I'm not saying you should be just strange. It's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that just like Joseph, he was in prison in the night he said goodbye so many people uh good night we'll see tomorrow the prison warder even gave him job to do you know tomorrow we are going to clear the courtyard you're going to go to potiphar's house to work how many prisoners are under your care he took the notes they slept everybody prepared early in the morning very early they sent for him by the close of that day he has become prime minister you know, that morning, ah, the prison warden would have been angry. Where is Joseph? I sent him a message. Everything is not done. Back, 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 back. Where is Joseph? They say, Pharaoh came. Ah, Pharaoh came. <laughs> After two hours, he heard that Joseph is now the prime minister. Is that not wonderful? That's how our life should be. Give Jesus a big clap of it. Somebody's life is changing today. <laughs> they were crying. They called for Jesus. They were crying in the house of Lazarus. He was dead four days stinking the lord jesus came delayed and came and then when he came so that your friend is dead if only you were here he said no i'm the resurrection and life anywhere i am resurrection will happen things will happen come back to life so where did you keep him sir we have buried him in the tomb he's smelling he's been dead for four days because after the third day when a man a person dies from the fourth day the body starts decomposing and start smelling that was Lazarus so that means it was medically impossible to revive him he said take me there they took him there he said open because those days in in Israel they don't have ground because everywhere is rocky 
So what the, how they bury people, they don't bury in the grave, they bury in the tomb. The stone, they carve it open and then put the person there and seal it. So he told them, open that door. Ah, just like telling some, <laughs> you go to a cemetery and tell them, uh, somebody who has been buried, remove the sand, unpack it. Ah, the sister, in, in case Jesus maybe is so, as he's so sorrowful, he doesn't understand what's going on. He said he has been dead for four days and he's mad. He said, ah, he, he told her, didn't I tell you that I'm what? The resurrection and the life. I'm here. They opened it. One word. Lazarus, not all this prayer in the name of Jesus. Lazarus, do what? Come forth. And what happened? He came forth. And as he came, bound with that grave growth, there was no sign that he was decaying. Somebody's last loss is coming forth this morning. Yeah. Whatever that is dead and hopeless is coming forth to life again. Yeah. In better form, in better shape this morning. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. So his name is wonderful. That's the first ingredient of his name. Full of wonders. So when you call that name, expect, to expect it. Because what you expect is what you see. I have many scriptures to give us, but I'll just take this one because of our time. Psalm 71, verse 7. Psalm 71, verse 7. Psalm 71, verse 7. Amen. I am as a wonder unto many, but thou art my strong refuge. Did you see that? The psalmist understood the scripture. And said, I am as a wonder unto many people, unto all people. They can't explain it. Things happening in my life. But my strong refuge, my root, is the name of the Lord Jesus. I want to speak the wonders of God over some people right now. From today, may your life be wonderful. From today, may you be a wonder to many people. An end comes to an ordinary life. An end comes to the life of obscurity, the life of confusion, in the name of Jesus Christ. Say louder, amen. amen. Now watch the next one. That's Isaiah chapter 9, the first ingredient. Wonderful. So when I call that name, I expect wonders to happen. Number two, his name shall be called wonderful, full of wonders. Number two, counselor. Counselor. Counselor is someone who stands to give you wise advice. It is counsel that makes us mighty. Isaiah chapter 11, he says, The spirit of the Lord will rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. Might is not by going to Jimu. Might is not even by long fasting. It's not by long prayer. It is by the counsel you have. The more of God's counsel you have, the mightier you will become. What made Joseph mighty in Egypt? The counsel of the Lord. Pharaoh had a dream. He, can't he, he doesn't understand the dream. Nobody can interpret it. Ah, God revealed it. Gave Joseph the counsel of the dream. He gave the counsel to Pharaoh, became prime minister. So it was the Lord Jesus that spoke to him. Cancel. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7. He said, Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. When you're wise from your own eyes, what does it mean? To live the life the way I want without consulting God. To live the life in my own wisdom. God calls it evil. You don't fear God. You don't have reverence for God. And God calls it evil. Fear the Lord and depart from it. Don't be wise in your own eyes. Seek counsel from God. You know what counsel is? Nobody will give you counsel until you come seeking for it. And you seek for it from the sermons, from the word of God, from reading your Bible. That's how God gives you counsel. You know, this Bible is Jesus in written form. Do you know that? Because it's the word of God. The more I read it, the more I have the counsel of God. 
Many people are making mistakes because they, don't, they didn't see God's counsel to embark on a project. If, if you have been in this church, you will know we don't do anything until we pray first. Prayer is not an alternative. It's not an option. It's the priority. It's the first thing we do. What are we praying for? To know what is God's mind. And to ask for his counsel to proceed. And like I said earlier, what you don't ask God, he won't tell you. Because he won't disturb you. So the Lord Jesus is our counselor. Before you make decisions, ask him first. Don't ask him when things have spoiled. You want to go into business, you want to marry. As we are going to the new year, many people, they have goals. They have the things they want to do. They have not asked counsel from the Lord. He's the one who created you, who knows your life, who knows every, every day of this next year is in his hands. So ask him. His name is Counselor, Mighty Counselor. From today, may the counsel of the Lord be your priority. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The third ingredient of that name, we we'll see that here, the mighty God. You see what comes bef before might. Number one, wonderful. Number two, what? Counsel. Counselor. And then the third one, the mighty God. It means here, the El Gibor. The almighty. That means the one who can do anything and all things powerful name powerful name you call that name in faith anything is possible somebody just gave me a testimony yesterday online church she's not in nigeria she says she has not been breathing she has been struggling to breathe for three days can't sleep in bed, had taken all manner of medications. It was during the service because the time zones are different. So during the service, she said, No, I'm late. Oh, she just she, when she came, joined the service, we were already preaching. And as she was listening, she just realized, Ah, uh -uh, I can't breathe well. Oh, I can't breathe well. She started rolling on the floor. I can't breathe well. Why? Because we're in the presence of the Almighty One, the El Gibor. His power is not limited to this room. No one person can carry all his power. His power is present to heal, to do wonders when his people gather. The El Gibor, the Almighty. That name of Jesus is the name that is the mightiest. Nothing and no one can stand before him. So when you call that name, that's the ingredient of that name. Amen. Amen. The fourth ingredient is called the everlasting father father is not a name is a title and is everlasting father also father the main meaning of father means source so the lord jesus is not only the firstborn among the brethren but also our father the everlasting his own father you know some fathers they can change their mind and disown you. Am I right? Ah. Some fathers, you can provoke them and that's the end of your relationship with them. But he says he's the one that is what? Everlasting. Everlasting father. Not just our, on our earth life, but throughout eternity remains our father. He's our source. You know, many people, they say, I have this connection. I know this person. I will do this. I'll do that. I just look at them. I shake my head. You do something, me, I report you to my father. He will deal with you. I remember those days some years ago, somebody did something to me, Jesus. So, <laughs> I told my wife, we will not fight, we will just thank God for the person and, hand them, and just tell her, daddy, that um, see what has happened though. We cannot fight this person. And we left. Just a few months after that, the same person ran back to me. In fact, she was begging me for forgiveness. But apart from begging me for forgiveness, the person she defended showed her not just Pepe. Which one is bigger than Pepe? Eh? <laughs> and was telling me, and the person related to her, cause this person. I said, ah, I can't cause the person. 
you did to me, I didn't cause you. Who <laughs> bless him and ask God to uh, 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 everlasting father. People do you something, report them if he's your father. You know, why so many of us don't get divine vengeance? Is that number one, we take the laws into our hands. Number two, we don't have a genuine fatherly relationship with Jesus Christ. You don't honor him as a father, you just take in cash. It's your ATM machine, all right? You know, some people, your father is your ATM machine. You just use him when you want. No honor. No, he is your father. And what is demanded when somebody is your father? Honor. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy, it may go well with you, and your days may be what? Long. So if it's your father, ah, you report people. He knows how to handle them. That's how I fight my battle. This is how I win my battles. Knows how to handle them. Everlasting father. Not the one of today, the one of tomorrow. He knows us. He knows our friend. Now, to many of us, he's a father, but you know, we are like prodigal sons. The prodigal son came. Lord, my, father, my inheritance, it was given to him. He went to squander it. Then one day he came to his senses. He said, ah, even the servants so in my father's house, they have more than enough. Here I am, struggling food with pigs. Pigs. That is food for pigs. You know the kind of food pigs eat is what he's struggling. That's how many of us are living. Then the Bible says he came to his senses. So I'll go back to my father's house and tell him, I've sinned against heaven and against you. I'm not worthy to be called your son. Just take me as one of your servants. I don't even want to be a son again. Leave that one. But you know, you see, the father didn't go to him. Do you remember that story? But he was waiting for him to come, as God is waiting for some of us. Draw near to God, and what will happen? He will draw near to you. So when the father saw him, that he's now coming, he met him halfway. God just wants you to make a move towards him. Genuine move. Watch what will happen. Then the father brought him. He was crying, Daddy, I have sinned. Daddy, I have that. Just I, I let me be your servant. Genuine repentance. Ah, the father said, ah, servant care. Bring clothes and wear to him. My son that was lost is now found. You see, nobody comes to Jesus and he casts them away. That's why he's an everlasting father. His heart is large and big. Stop living like a prodigal child. Come back home. He's waiting for you. He's the everlasting father. And he has so much in store for you. Amen. And then the last one. The five ingredients of the name of Jesus. Number one. Wonderful. Number two. Cancelo. Number three. The mighty God. Number four. The lasting father. So even if you have sinned if you feel oh nobody the, what i did nobody can forgive me ah he's a father he has a father's heart he will even if everybody is condemning you he will his heart is large his heart is beautiful he's full of mercy if you tell him jesus i will start again with you today ah, he will start again with you and then the last one is called what the prince of peace that prince there doesn't mean the son of a king. It means, um, it means the main ruler, the principal part. It's from this prince they got principal. Now when you go to a school and you say this is the principal, that means it's the higher the academic authority in that school. Am I right? The administrative head, right? So it's the principal, the prince of peace. If you need peace, it's from him. And peace is the foundation for any prosperity foundation for any sound health sound mind people are depressed it's because they don't have peace people are confused it's because they don't have peace peace the prince of peace the author of peace the prince of peace the peace that passes all understanding ah peter had that peace they told him ne, tomorrow we are going to kill you locked him up the bible says he was snoring in fact, he slept so much that the guards locked with him, started sleeping with him. He had peace. So they say, they say you're going to die the next day. You're snoring. Ah, ah, that's peace now, am I right? And the angel appeared. Acts chapter 12. It's the peace Daniel had in the land, den of the lion. They, say, ah, they said you should not pray. You went to pray. We are going to report you to the king. 
They threw him to the den of lions. The Bible says God himself shot the mouth of lions. That is peace. Peace that passes all understanding. There is the peace of the world. It's based on what you have, but it doesn't last. It's based on happenings, but it doesn't last. That's the peace the world gives. But there is the peace of God that passes what? All understanding. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, he said, be anxious for what? Nothing. If you know this Jesus, you will not be anxious for anything. Ah, dollar is going up. Oh. Everybody is leaving the country. Who knows what will happen this year? Uh, look at my age. Oh. Look at things very difficult. Peace in the midst of every storm. Peace in spite of every situation. Peace that passes what? All understanding. Philippians 4, 6 says, be anxious for nothing. Do you know as a Christian, it's a sin to be worried. You know that? That's what anxiety is. Be anxious for nothing. That is if you know this prince of peace. Be anxious for nothing. He will come and save me. He will come and save me. Say to the weary one, your God will surely come. He will come and save me. One more time. He will come and save me. He will come and save me. Say to the weary one, your God will surely come. He will come and save me. He will come and help me. He will come and help me. Yes. He will come and help me. Say to the weary one, your God will surely come. He will come and help. He will come and heal me. He will come and heal me. He will come and heal me. Say to the weary one, your God will surely come. He will come and he will come and lift me. Sing it. He will come and lift, lift me. Yes. He will come and lift. That's why Jesus was born. Me. Yes. Say to the weary one, your God will surely come. He will come and. He will come and save me. I'm sure of that. Let's sing it. He will come and save me. Yes. He will come and save me. Oh, say to the weary one, your God will surely come. He will come. Let's sing it one more time. It's a declaration of our faith. Oh, he will come and save me. Jesus will come. He will come and save me from every beat, from every prison, from every situation. Yes. Say to the say to the weary one. Your God is surely come. He will come and save. He is coming to help me. He's coming to help me. Sing it again. He will come and help me. Where I'm helpless, we have not know anyone. Where people have written me off. I know he will come. Say to the weary one, 
in the strong city at every disadvantage sing it with faith it's a declaration of faith declare it he will come and help me yes he will come and help me wherever you need help receive it right now to the your God will surely come. He will come and help me. He will save me. I know that. He will come and save me. Savior Jesus, you will come. He will come and save me. Receive the peace of the Lord. Receive the joy of the Lord. Just receive from the Lord. Shahe le mozi kata ya. Ile mozi gala mahete ya basande. Sika la mode. Eye moshada. That's the essence of Christmas. Jehovah saves. Receive from him. Receive from him. Whatever you need. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Call on that name. Jesus, Jehovah saves. Jesus, Jehovah helps. Jesus, Jehovah heals. Jesus, Jehovah leads. Jesus, Jehovah delivers. Ele mozigaba gedia malos. Ah, ere moshada bakende. Receive from him. Receive everything you need. He is the love of God to us. Grace and truth came by Jesus. In him is no condemnation. In his him is no weakness. In him is not fear. Perfect love cast out fear. Enjoy and bask in his presence. Enjoy and bask in his love. Oh, mashallah bandi. Thank you, Lord. Oh. My God will surely come. He will come and save me. We take that two more times and we close. He will come. He will come and save Tell your problems. Tell your enemies. Tell your mockers. Declare it. He will come and save thank you for the gift of your son Jesus our savior our salvation our deliverer our deliverance the lifter up of our heads our redeemer and our redemption our sanctifier and our sanctification we thank you we give you all the glory we worship you thank you for the great and mighty things you've done in this service and you've done for us thank you for that gift of the name of jesus at his name every knee bows 
thank you lord for giving us an understanding of the ingredients of that name thank you for that name is wonderful thank you for that name is our wisdom thank you for that name is the almightiness of god thank you because he, he, the name is our everlasting father we can't be stranded we can't be orphans we can't be helpless thank you for the peace that comes through that name the peace that passes all understanding we give you praise in jesus mighty name we are still praying please all eyes close all heads bowed before we close this beautiful service maybe you don't know that name you just know it off head or you may even know that name but the owner of the name jesus doesn't know you it's time to come to him and so that your life can be wonderful you will have the wisdom you need so that the almightiness of god will be at work in your life so that god will be your father and that and give you the peace that passes all understanding if you're not yet born again you know you're born you were born again but you're no longer in the same state of grace God wants you back. Give your life as a gift to God today. This Christmas Day service. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. If you love God, give your life to Him. He will make it beautiful. He will make it wonderful and make you a wonder to many. If you're that honest person here or listening online, put your right hand on your heart and make today a new beginning. All eyes closed, please. All heads bowed let's just say this prayer after me jesus christ i believe you're the son of god i believe you died for my sins you were buried on the third day god raised you from the dead that i may be made right with you today i confess you jesus christ as lord i receive you into my heart as my savior let your blood cleanse me from all sin I receive your power and grace to live for you in your name i've prayed amen now let me pray for you father as many who have said this prayer thank you for receiving them thank you for adopting them as your children thank you for the life of god in them and the power to live for you thank you because from today their lives will be wonderful they will never lack counsel your almightiness will be at their disposal you will be if you have become a father to them and your peace will never leave them we give you all the glory in jesus mighty and matchless name amen can we give jesus a big clap offering amen were you blessed by the service can you call that name three more times one to go jesus 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 please be seated as you give Jesus a big clap offering once again as we close